Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Astro Music and Tutorials. So today I woke up, I felt like making a sleepy beat. It's been a really long time since I worked on a sleepy beat. I just felt like I could never get the right sounds to make it work. But then recently, I found a couple of drum sounds and some ambient sounds that could potentially help me make a good sleepy lo-fi track. So let's get into it and let's see what I can come up with. Remember, like and subscribe if you like our content. It helps us a lot. Let's get into the video. Sleepy beat time. It's been a long time since I've made a sleepy beat. I've been focusing so much on upbeat stuff because that's the type of music I'm going to be releasing. By the way, I have a couple of singles coming out. My debut single is coming out on Jan 10th through Dream Hop, my absolute favorite lo-fi chill hop label. They made me an artwork and it's amazing. I hope you guys check it out. The song is called Seashore. Once again, it's going to be out on Jan 10th. Okay, let's put that aside. First, let's set the BPM. We'll make it a cool 60. 60. Oh, forgot the most important thing. Headphones. Now let's load up Labs Soft Piano. I haven't used a soft piano in months because obviously I don't make sleepy stuff much anymore. How exactly is 60 BPM? Well, it's easy to play. Let's start out with the bass progression and then I'll just add some notes after that. That's slow. it up but we can work with it Let me see if I can make the piano progression sound more full. We need to layer that piano. Let's go to Pigments, my favorite synthesizer. I would be lost without this plugin. Let's try that. To make it, to not make it that muddy, I'm just gonna copy the top notes, not the bass notes, because labs. Soft piano tends to have a lot of low end, so I don't want to muddy up the mix. Perfect. Now, we need to carefully select our hi-hats. <clears throat> Let's try this. Sorry I took longer than I usually do for hats. I, I'm not used to working with this pattern thing. I usually just 
paste it right on the playlist, but I figured we'd just try something new today. And it worked out. I think we need like shakers every now and then. Shakers with a lot of reverb. Let's try it out. Okay, so we'll reverb the crap out of this thing and super massive. a limiter on it to make its presence less in the mix because it is it's a little too it's a little too much with the reverb and everything the clap on its own was a lot and i added the super massive on top of it now it's even more a lot sometimes reducing the volume is not enough you need to do that another thing you could do is low pass it but that might affect the sound So I'm not going to go too crazy with the arrangement and everything and the progression. This is supposed to be a simple sleepy lo-fi tutorial. Now let's next um next to the bass. I think the same bass that I always rely on can be used, which is Eternity sample pack Eternity bass guitar. Now we go to the piano, copy those low notes. Sidechain that real quick. The purpose of the side chaining is to make the kicks presence heard in the mix through the bass because they have similar frequencies so the kick can easily get lost in it. And now if you sidechain it like this you can see that every time the kick hits the bass ducks a little bit. So every time the kick hits, the bass goes down, so the kick is hurt a little bit more. A little piano lead. For that, I'll use the Majuro piano. guys haven't gotten this plugin i highly recommend you go and get it it's by cymatics you can find it on the cymatics website it's absolutely free it's like the it's like a free version of uh rc20 if you've heard it some say it's better because it's free and it has almost all the effects and it looks so good i mean look at that look at that wooden texture it gives that vintage sound to your sounds it's so good and look at this this is a preset called drop of time I just have it in this section, in, the, in this lead piano, but if you notice, you can hear that vinyl sound. And that stays in the track throughout the entire song. See? Gives it that nice little vintage warmth. So what you can do is uh, low pass it a little bit so it's not too harsh. Now. Let's add a pad. Once again, we go back to pigments. We need to find something that can cut through that second layer of that piano that I put. Instead of just playing it, I'll just mark the chords. And I'll just put it right there. Stop. 
stereo enhancer to widen that sound. This could possibly be one of the best sleepy beats I have made. I'm, I'm actually considering turning this into a full song and releasing it. One more thing, we need to add a guitar lead. And if you want an authentic sounding electric guitar, and if you don't know how to play the guitar, get this. Labs, electric guitar, peel guitar, one and two. Yeah, let's put that up. Imagine that with a little delay. Put some delay on it. Crystallizer. band compressor warm Does that sound good or what? I know it's my own beat and I'm talking about my own beat, but then if you don't, I mean if I don't, then who will? It all starts with you. Okay, this turned out really good. I might actually, I'm actually considering making this into a full beat and releasing it. Okay, please let me know in the comment section if you like the beat and if I should release it. And if I'm missing any elements or if you think that I should add something, please let me know. I would love to hear your suggestions and recommendations so like and subscribe if you like this beat and like our content go check out our other videos it would help us out and we'll see you next week